All right, well, we're just going to roll with it because we both can't get comfortable and stop feeling awkward. So it's all good. That's what we do. So anyway, today I've got my wife, Valen. Hopefully we're both in focus here and you can see us. Uh, tomorrow is the surgery day. The day you're watching this Wednesday is the day she's having surgery. So Val, tell it like, so people that don't know, tell them what kind of surgery you're having. Um, yeah, what kind of surgery you're having? I am having a, what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> Hip arthroscopy. Hip arthroscopy. Um, essentially, the cartilage in my hip socket called the labrum is torn, and they're going to go in and they're going to repair it or replace it depending on what they see, and then they're going to take the, the femoral head, as in my leg bone, the top of it, the socket part, or the ball part, the ball part, and they're going to shave it so it's round so that it moves. So like this, where it, this, where it goes into the joint. Yeah. They're going to shave this part off Yep, they're going to make bit. that round, nice yeah. and round, so that it doesn't catch. wear off yep, and catch. Okay. Little visual. It's called impingement, which is a very common word now in the running community for women at least. So we were doing some research or she was doing research on like videos of people having this surgery to kind of figure out what she was in for. And like I guess we found out that apparently they use like a cadaver uh, piece of the labrum mm -hmm. to repair so yep. that she's gonna have a dead person inside of her. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe possibly. It's kinda weird. And then they stick like these really, really long like metal things into her hip where they then stick, stick their, I guess their tools through to do the actual surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like uh, three, three, three little holes, three incisions into the hip area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and we have to go in tomorrow and the surgery is supposed to take how long? They didn't say specifically, but estimates like two -ish hours. about two ish hours. Okay. And so I guess let's back up and where, or when did you start feeling like something was wrong in your hip that you thought it was more than just like a, a niggle? I, it's hard to pinpoint when exactly I, I first was having problems, but I would say definitely I knew for sure that something was wrong back in July when I was doing that big run. But if I'm really being honest and I look back at probably over the past almost two years of different injuries and, and compensations and muscle sorenesses in places that you really shouldn't be having muscle soreness all the time. I probably tore it at least two years ago and I was just having like back pain and, and uh, hamstring pain, sciatic nerve pain, sciatic nerve pain, <laughs> all these pains. Like, so when you have like a torn labrum, it ends up being that everything around the labrum gets angry and because it's cartilage so you just have your nerve endings and then your muscles and your ligaments are working overtime to support that so that's a long answer to a short question and like so as a as a runner um like recently at least you've kind of struggled with the idea of like not struggled but it's been kind of like on your mind is you know do you need the surgery because you can go out and run 20 minutes 30 minutes with moderate discomfort um, yeah. but it's like, you know, is it worth it kind of thing? But obviously it is because you want to do bigger things. Right. But it's hard to justify. Yeah. Not just justify, but like, oh, um, yeah, but like maybe, yeah, I guess justifies the word, you know, it's like, you know, you got, you, you can still run a little bit and, you know, walk around and do all the other stuff that, you know, you would do. But Wait, here's the thing. So each time I go to run, I feel it sooner and sooner. So this last time I went for a run, I think I was like 10 minutes in, I could feel hip drop and muscle fatigue and the kind of muscle soreness that I used to get like in a 50K. I was feeling it like 10 minutes into a run. And it's, it's not a sharp shooting pain. It's just a, all my muscles are super tired from trying to stabilize my hip. And I've only been able to road run. I haven't been able to trail run at all because of the, the instability of the terrain. It just yeah. makes it impossible. And that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, run the 100 miles. So she's been like purposefully staying very busy. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, today and yesterday specifically, you know, just cleaning the house, getting it ready, doing laundry, cooking food, doing all sorts of stuff. And I think that's a, <laughs> a mental trick she's trying to do to keep herself not to think about it. And yet here we are talking about I know. it. Thanks. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling now? <laughs> you ready for the surgery? Um, I don't know. I'm in theory I'm doing fine. I feel like it's like the night before like a big race. You're going to get the poops. I get, the poop. <laughs> I get nervous poo. It's it's just a thing. Um so yeah, I I, I don't know. 
I try not to get too worried about it before, but and think about like the what ifs of just surgery in general. Those are the things that kind of creep into my mind, but I try not to. I hope they give me something to to make me calm before they actually start the, giving me the other stuff. They give you something before they give you something. Yeah, I need something <laughs> before the something. Yeah. Um, Cause I've, Ease your mind a little bit. Yeah. Relax you. I'm going to need somebody to do something before I have to start counting backwards. It feels weird that I'm walking today and like just walking around. I don't, I can rel- walk relatively fine. I know some people have a lot of difficulty with like everyday tasks. And I, I would say that when I first started noticing that there was something wrong, I did have a lot of difficulty. Like yeah. coming off of um, training for no business, I was like in a lot of pain. I'd run on the trail and my, my hit would just yeah. give out. But I haven't really done much running, I think, since December. I would say more than 15 miles a, at most in, yeah. a, in a week. I got the formal diagnosis in December. And then since then, I mean, if I'm being honest, I've struggled with 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 caring much in the way of any kind of physical activity, to be honest. I was trying to be diligent in doing like leg strengthening exercises to sort of prepare myself for having the surgery, but it's really mentally draining to try to put in a lot of effort and a lot of work running and when you know when that I know gonna... that I'm not it's I'm gonna have to start over again. Yeah. From scratch basically. Yeah. Yeah, because the recovery is pretty serious. I mean, like how, what did they tell you up front? I mean, obviously, you know, it depends on how tomorrow goes. Or Yeah, um, they said two weeks on crutches for sure. And then... And you two, can't drive. And I can't drive. At all for a while, right? Like, At least two weeks, but it's on my right side. So I think it's just dependent on my injury level because, or my pain level, because when you're doing the gas yeah. pedal, it's a constant pressure and that can fatigue yeah. your thing. But I have... Four to six weeks of very specific um, physical therapy that I'll start on Friday. So I have to do that. And then I guess at my post-op appointment at two weeks, they'll give me new guidance. Yeah. This is a very unknown kind of recovery process. Well, for us. I mean, there's other people that have had it, but not a lot of, not a lot of runners, I guess, that have had the surgery. At least not, not publicly shared a lot of information about it. That's true. So hopefully this will help anyone else out there that might be going through it or, you know, having those issues. Uh, so, yeah, well, I'm going to I'm gonna try to document throughout as much as I can, you know. I'm not going to be flooding my channel with, <laughs> with stuff every day, but, uh, you know, I'll try to do, you know, an update here and there on her recovery process and how it's going. Let's be honest. People like William like seeing me on the channel more. So. <laughs> that is true. They do ask about, they do ask about Valen. <laughs> um, so hurtful. No. <laughs> um, but the end goal is to get you back running. Yeah. Get you back so you can do ultras and get, you want to do, you want to do a hundred mile race. That's, I want to do a very specific hundred mile race. She wants to do no, what, no business 100. Get that uh, monkey off her back mm. from there. Uh, but from everything that we've seen online, like the time frame to be able to run. So my, my surgeon told me, in perfect scenario, I should be able to start what he called running protocol at three months. And that's a very... A lot of walk. Like very walk specific. Short. Short run-walk intervals. Um, I have a couple friends who had the surgery, and they said that up to a year to really feel like you're back. Um, so the one friend did a marathon, or half marathon, at the end of the first year. So I am kind of loosely creating that as a goal to be able to do a half marathon by the end of the year. Well, it's March 2nd when you're getting a surgery. So, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, nine months. It's not, seems no. reasonable. You know? So half marathon this year, 50 K, maybe a 50 miler by the end of 2023, if things look good. And then 2024 is to your plan is my, is my, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to do this right. Um, yeah. 100 mile training get that base yeah and so All about that base. About that base. if anybody's wondering if it's important as a runner to do strength training yes it is <laughs> yes it is you did a fair you did a you did a decent amount of strength training at you know at, at times of your training so i think being a woman 
having had four kids, it really moves things in the hips around yeah. oh, a yeah. lot. <laughs> and that's not something that people talk about a lot and just the amount of stretch. And I mean, it doesn't go, it doesn't go back by itself. <laughs> So even it's, you got to be more diligent, I think, especially being a woman. Yeah. So if you are about to go through this surgery or you're having issues, questions, whatever, drop them below in the comments. If you have specific questions for Valen related to the surgery, the recovery process throughout all of this, you know, stuff leading up to it. Yeah. Put them down below and I'll oh. volunteer her. She said no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nothing. I mean, really, honestly, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot in the next couple of weeks. So I will be. If you have questions of any, how's it going, then let me know. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate you all out there with all, everybody. There's been a lot of people that have wished uh, Val luck or good good wishes and prayers on the YouTube channel and uh, even on Strava. Strava? Uh, yeah, on Strava, some, some people have commented. Uh, hmm. So yeah, thank you guys for the support. We do really appreciate it very, very much. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep you updated. So, thanks for watching. Anyway, why don't you check out her no business attempt? We'll put it. It's probably it's probably gonna be right over top of her face. I did city. that with a torn labrum, mind you. So that makes it even cooler. Yeah, I just, <laughs> she was she was pretty uh, pretty awesome there. Uh, and then over on in front of my face here probably will be a playlist of I don't know some other trail videos. So can we just make a playlist of Valen's videos? So we'll probably make a playlist of your labrum surgery, your stuff. No, like the Valen playlist, all things. All things Valen. All things Valen. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, thank you all. We'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. Oh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Alexa, turn the lamp to sixty percent. I don't know how to set lamp to that setting. Alexa. Turn the lamp to 60%. I love the lamp. Uh, very fun. Alright, well, sit back then, sit back. Not like that. <laughs> like a beach whale. <laughs> <laughs> sit up. That's me tomorrow. That's why people don't lounge in their videos. Right? Because well, it just like... looks bad. Now I'm just like, look silly on the couch. Oh, so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm editing that out, don't worry. <laughs>